Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day. These are one of my favourite videos to watch on YouTube. I'm always looking out for new recipes. So I thought, why not show you guys what I eat? So I'm going to be healthy today. I'm normally healthy throughout the week and then on the weekends I'll like go slightly more off track. Okay, so for my breakfast today I'm having porridge. I normally always have porridge. Occasionally I'll have like a smoothie or on the weekend I'll have some toast instead or maybe some cereal or like shreddies or something like that. But yeah, I always have... 50 grams of porridge i weigh it out 50 grams of porridge otherwise i make too much or not enough and then i get hungry or i'd make too much and there's so much waste and then to go in my porridge i'm gonna have a scoop of this impact whey protein from my protein and this is in the chocolate brand this is the flavor i always get it's so nice in porridge this is what i'm having today in my porridge because i did have a leg day at the gym today and then with that i will just have some oat milk i don't weigh this out i just pour it in because i kind of know like how much i need in my porridge Okay, so I've got my porridge here, which looks so unappetising, but I promise you it tastes so good. And my coffee, and I'm just going to sit down and watch some TV. So it's lunchtime now, and I'm absolutely starving it's about 10 to 2 i've been sat up here just doing some bits and made a tiktok well i'm obsessed so for my lunch i like to keep it quite simple so i'm just having a sandwich today um but yeah i forgot that my bread was in the toaster and i've accidentally toasted it so the bread i have is this hesco finest high protein loaf just the best bread and i actually really love bread so i never used to eat it as often as i do now because obviously i found this but this only has like 10 carbs per slice i think i'm just gonna grab a little egg from the little egg basket thing if you couldn't guess by now i'm having an egg mayo which was meant to be a sandwich but it's kind of going to be like sort of a toasty i guess there's my lonesome egg i'm gonna put some of the hellman's light mayonnaise on it like that much this is a weird part but honestly do not bash this until you've tried it my housemate at uni told me about this and i've literally never come back so, so i put curry powder in my egg mayo if you haven't tried this you need to try it i recommend the co-op one i had it with sainsbury's one once and i was like this doesn't taste the same because it wasn't the co-op's one this is the nicest curry powder for egg mayo so if you are going to try it make sure well you don't have to but it is a lot nicer with this one i'm just going to put a generous amount in there a mm, little bit more like that much that's basically my simple lunch curried egg mayo which should be a sandwich but i accidentally toasted it yeah this is definitely better than a sandwich but it's still nice So I always like to snack on fruit throughout the day. So I'm just having a banana right now. I normally have like apple and banana a day or like an orange and banana a day or like a pear and banana a day. But yeah, I don't have any apples. So I did just get myself a little bit of apple juice. This is the only snack and I'll do during the day really, unless it's the weekend. I tend to snack a little bit more on the weekend, you know. Gotta treat yourself. Okay, so it's dinner time now and I'm absolutely starving. What is this? Is that from the fridge? I think it might be, but I'm absolutely starving. Um, I'm having more carbs for dinner. What I'm having is I'm having a like pizza, but on a wrap, so it's like healthier. So these are just, I always use whole meal, um, like whole meal pasta, whole meal rice, whole grain, same thing. So what I'm gonna be putting on my pizza is corn pieces, because I am vegetarian. I haven't even mentioned in, in this video, but I am actually vegetarian, pescatarian. Um, cheese of course I would normally have like lower fat cheese but this is what we have mixed herbs I would normally put sweet corn on but I'm just gonna put half a pepper on today it has to be yellow orange or red never green pepper I hate green pepper and then of course just some tomato puree for the base so I'm just gonna put like maybe one more piece oh okay so I'm just gonna put about that much on there and then what i do i haven't used the best tray for this because it's got holes in but i just put some smoked paprika on there put it in the oven quickly and then once they're like broken up a bit i'm gonna put some smoked paprika on so it sticks a little bit because when it's hard like this it's a bit harder to stick
I'm just gonna put the Smarte Puree on the right. So I just like squirt it on and then I just spread it with a spoon because I find it spreads so much easier with a spoon than with a knife. So yeah, just like that, the base is done. Um, yeah, use a spoon, it's so, so, so much easier. Okay, so this is out of the oven. I've just added a few more pieces on there because why the hell not? Come on, go on. It's now time to add the mixed herbs. Honestly, these make it taste so, so, so much nicer. If you make these and you don't put like mixed herbs or anything on it, definitely try it with mixed herbs on. It's so yummy. Oh god, a lot went in that area. So now I'm just going to add pepper. This is such a yellow meal. I should probably have like some asparagus or something with it, but I don't have any. Or like broccoli, but I can't be bothered. Um, and I'm actually not that hungry to be honest. I've just sprayed some light fry olive oil on there just so it goes crispier and the pepper cooks nicely. I'll leave that in the oven for like five to ten minutes maybe. Just keep checking it, see how it's cooking, make sure it's not burning around the edges. But yeah, that is literally, it's so simple and it tastes really, really nice and it's so quick as well. It's like my go-to when I'm not that hungry but I could eat and I want something just really quick and fast. So the pizza is now done and it smells so 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 good those peppers probably could have had a little bit longer but obviously you can see it's crisping up here but it's fine the cheese seems to have like disappeared under all of this but oh, okay we're steaming up Okay, so I'm done with my eating for the day. I'm gonna head off to bed now. I'm not actually gonna go to sleep, I'm just gonna get in bed and chill out. But yeah, I never normally have a dessert, so I didn't feel like including one because obviously that's not realistic. On the weekends I will, but during the week, I try and be as good as possible. Obviously, this is not what I eat every day. Like, my diet does vary. Some days I'll be like eating a lot cleaner than other days during the week it just depends what i'm feeling and sometimes you're just not as hungry as other days so yeah it does really vary but the one thing that i normally always stick to during the week is porridge so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to see more of like white in a day maybe we could do like one a month or something like that um do let me know in the comments although my breakfast would basically be the same it would just be porridge but i have different variations of like how i have my porridge and overnight oats so yeah let me know in the comments if you like these videos and you want to see more because i love food anything to do with food i'm there uh but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye